Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Transport Fever 2. This is the Longland map and we're picking up exactly where we left off last time. Uh, in fact, I'm recording this exactly after the last one. Uh, and we're going to be plumbing in these four farms. And they're going to come in and uh, drop off their uh, grain here. And uh, yeah, and then we'll add some more trains and then we'll see what happens. Now, uh, we're going to need, uh, basically, we're going to need a train that comes out to here. Uh, one that comes down this way. And one that comes across this way. I think we're going to actually need three lines. Anyway, let's start with a 160 meter station. One track. And we'll put it here. And we'll put one here. Yep. And uh, that's Shangri-La farm number five. Farm number five. Yep. And that's Winchesterton Fieldville farm number four. Farm number four. Yep. Okay. Uh, now, we're going to, uh, right, uh, I think we can get away with one train here, so, uh, this guy is going to connect onto, uh, this track, yeah, I think we can get away with one track there, and... This guy, uh, what if we do that? I don't hate it. I think we'll need two trains on. Okay. Uh, connected that to the wrong platform. Okay, we'll connect that to the correct platform, which is that one. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to need two tracks on this one. Uh, mostly because we're going to run two trains on it. And uh, figuring out passing logistics points is, uh, uh, you know, more effort than I want to do. Uh, that means we're going to need uh, at least a couple of signals on here. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, a couple of signals should be all we need. And I'll put those couple in the middle. Okay. Now, um, we've got these two. Uh, I think this one will also only need one track. So, well, anyway, uh, we're going to uh, do this. And that is Winchester and Fieldville farm number five. Yeah. Uh, uh, farm number five. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, and that'll come down to the outer platform there. And this one, Shangri-La farm number two. Yeah. Okay. Um, e hmm. I think if I put it in at an angle like that, yeah, that'll be Shangri-La farm number two. Yeah, okay, farm number two. Yeah, okay, good. Now, uh, we come in here with some tracks. Now, we're going to crow fly it directly here and see what we get. And we end up going right through. Aha! Uh -huh interesting so we could come aha okay i see what to do here uh okay so we'll we'll take this one off like that okay now we'll bring this one into this platform yeah and then we'll bring another we'll bring this guy 
uh, from here down to here. Yeah? Yeah. That will, in fact, work. Okay. So then we can come around like this onto this platform. Yep. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Okay. Now, if we do this, because this is definitely going to need two trains. Uh, the real trick will be whether we can actually launch trains onto these. Okay, we come up like this. Good. Now, why am I just double tracking this instead of passing places? Because we have $150 million. Uh, so it doesn't really matter, right? So we put one of those here. And we put a couple of them along here. So we might need three trains on this one. I don't think we will, but we might. Do this and this. Okay, I think this will, in fact, uh, get everything sorted when we build this one. Do that. Yeah, we can... We can live with that. Okay, good. That, I think, is all the tracks we need up there. And I think that solves... Uh, that solves all of that. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six trains at least. So uh, we'll go in here. We'll buy. And I guess 360... 284, yeah, we'll, we'll use the Baldwin. Cargo, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, we'll use 15 cars, okay. And we're going to buy six of these. Yeah, okay. And we're going to uh, park this over here. And then we're going to do a new line from here to here. Yeah. And that's going to be WCFV farm number four. Fram. Farm number four collector. Yep. Okay. And then we grab here. And we do a new line, which will be this one. And that's going to be WCFV farm number five collector. Yep. Then we grab here two of these. New line. Uh, here and here. And that's going to be... WCFV, nope. Shangri La Farm number five collector. Okay. And we grab these two. New line here to here. And that's going to be Shangri La Farm number two collector. Okay, good. Now, uh, that, and I am pretty sure we are going to need uh, more trains on that one. Yeah, so we'll manage this and we'll put, uh, we'll, we'll double the train, no, yeah, we'll double the trains on it. Good, okay. Now, uh, if we grab this, grab this, grab a train, uh, we can we can go over here. Right. Now, 
Something I could do to potentially speed all of this up is we can put a two-way signal here and a two-way signal here. Good. That gets them up to a, a better uh, position there. And I think it might be worth putting a signal in between there. Now, let's, uh, let's just ride a train here for a minute or five. You know, we spent like ten minutes uh, messing about with stuff, so uh, we now just need to let these trains uh, get uh, bedded in. Like, we've uh, created a traffic jam here, right? But that traffic jam is only because of the new trains we're launching. Uh, once they get up past the hub station there, they won't be on this uh, piece of track anymore, right? And uh, we won't have the, uh, the congestion. Now, of course, if I put more signals along here, it would handle more trains. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, that, that, would, uh, that would make some sort of a difference, right? But, yeah, I'm not going to. Uh, not right now. Uh, I might end up having to, actually, because that's a long way between signals. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, yeah, it's not that bad. Should be fine with the long trains running, though. Uh, yeah, probably is. Okay, so where... We, where are we? Oh, yeah, we're coming past the nose of the, the ridge there, right? Uh, yeah. Past hills, anyway. Now. Oh, look, there's a train going the other way. It's a big one. And we're waiting for something. Okay, and then we can tick along some more. We're gonna we're going past that uh, farm. Yeah, I should rejigger the tracks through here. We need another track through here. Now, what's it gonna do? Oh, we're gonna bounce over to that other track, aren't we? Aha, okay. That makes sense. And we uh, blast around here. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense then. But we will get out of the way of all of this uh, quite uh, quickly here. Uh-huh. We're going over to that track. Right. Okay, I see. Yeah, we had to come in on that track to get over here. Right. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Um, what are we waiting for? Must have been the other uh, train. Oh, th we must be this, the second of the two trains. Okay. Right? Now, I think we should be outstripping the demand for uh, for grain and everything here at this point in time. Uh, but uh, this should ramp up quite a bit when we uh, when we get the uh, get some more stuff connected for delivering the food, right? Yeah, so these are going to run at a loss for a while, uh, I would think. Uh, right. Okay, now, at the hub here, we are still behind. 
but we have another train coming in. <clears throat> the idea here is for these long trains to uh, be able to keep up with the deliveries of these smaller trains, right? Okay, so uh, if we close that, yeah, and if we look here, yeah, so we're uh, we're we're substantially uh, caught up now. I think we'll have a delay as these trains space out as well. So uh, we we could easily end up with uh, uh, the platform overflowing again. But that is kind of, uh, if we were to sit here, we can observe trains going in and out, right? Yeah, if we do it like this. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, that's quite, uh, quite a busy uh, uh, looking station there, right? Uh, and if we were to go in and turn uh, this stuff off, yeah. Uh, yeah, we've got, uh, yeah, this uh, ne this big one here should leave partially empty. We've got, and this big one here will leave basically empty. Okay, so we've got one more train than we need on here, I think. Um, yeah, uh, so, uh, I'm going to manage the vehicle and I'm going to sell it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the thing I'm going to do, uh, with the rest of the episode is I'm going to relay the tracks here because it's getting all over my CDO. So, uh, I'm going to do that. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, well, that means these guys come out. Uh, these guys all come out. Uh, that comes out. That goes away. Uh, these guys all come out. Right, okay, and if we do this, good. Now, we need one more track along there, right, which will be a through track, right. So the through tracks will connect up here. Yeah, okay, and... Uh, I guess we back this up to about here. Uh, yeah, that probably goes back to there. Good. Now we take this and we connect it on to here. Nope. Back that up just a little bit more. Dough. Okay. Back that up just a little bit more. Yeah, okay. Now, we can bring this one onto here like that. Okay, good. Right. Good, we have that. Now... This needs to come in like this. And that needs to come like that. Okay. And this needs to come like this. And this needs to come like this. Okay. And then we need one of these. Yep. And I think we need one of these. Uh, 
And then we've got this, right? And then we'll need one of these. Yep. And one of these. Okay. So what's the uh, theory here? Well, we're dual tracked here. Then the, the trains going on for this direction will bypass the station on this track. The trains for this station will come in here. Uh, we can get onto these tracks on this here, onto the bypass, and then onto here. Uh, and the through traffic can still get through. So now we need to re signalize this. So we'll need uh, one of those, one of those, and uh, one of those, and uh, one of those. And I guess we probably want a couple of these. Well, we'll want definitely a signal there and there and there. Yep. Put extra ones there. Um, right. What you need to do now is come here and unweird that. What do you mean by unweird it? Well, make the uh, the bend look less weird. Oh, and how are you going to do that? Well, I'm going to crow fly it. Ah, I see. That does look less weird. Yeah, see? Uh, perfectly sensible thing to do. Uh, right. Okay. Now, we need... Uh, probably a couple of uh, signal points here. Uh... Right, uh, put one here, yeah, put one here, yeah, put one here, yeah, that will probably help throughput a bit, okay, now, back over here, we should have, oh yeah, we need a signal here, right yeah we do okay and yeah yeah that should be fine okay and you know what i'm gonna put another one here okay now let's just observe this uh this location now that we've uh, adjusted everything. So I think things will run slightly more smoothly. So that goes into that platform, right? Loads up, yeah. Goes back, yeah. Okay, we got something steaming down the hill. Um, and it's going to wait as our other train ticks through there. Yep. And then we go across. I don't know that that's necessarily uh, improving throughput or anything, but it'll certainly help when we launch trains. Uh, yeah. And I think it's better. And the tracks look better, actually, too. So uh, I could uh, shift this out one more track and uh, make it uh, two through tracks here for this line and uh, two mainline tracks. But I don't think that's necessary.
Yeah, I don't think it's necessary at all. So I'm not going to do that. I'm kind of hoping this happens more often than than not. Uh, have these trains meet like that. Uh, I could allow this train to go straight through here, but I don't think there's a need to do that. So, I, yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Now, uh, what have we got here waiting? 256. Uh, do we have another big train coming? We don't. Um, let's, um, okay, so we've unloaded a big train there. Right, so we're producing food at a pretty good rate. Now, this guy is full, so let's see what he pays off at. Um, okay. Eight point three million, nice. So uh, these trains, when they're running at full capacity, are gonna gonna earn quite a bit of uh, of cash, right? Meanwhile, they can just steam back and forth like they're doing. Yeah. Now, uh, are we delivering food here? We are. Are we delivering enough of it? We aren't. Okay. We've only got one train on there. Let, is that a Baldwin 56? It is. Um, let's put a second train on there. Yeah, I think we can support a second train on there. Now, uh, you... New New York. Uh, we can possibly get away with delivering more. We have one train on there. Manage vehicles. Add another train. Uh, right. Where else are we delivering, uh, uh, food? Um, we're delivering here. Uh, right. Well, we can definitely, uh, get away with, uh, more trains on here. I think we need two more. Uh, right. Uh, manage vehicles. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so we got food in there. Now, um, right. So we're not delivering food anywhere else, I don't think. Uh, food to Atlantis, food to New York. Okay, we've expanded that. We've uh, expanded that. Uh, Shangri-La. Um, manage line. Um, oh, yeah, we could, uh, we could stand to uh, uh, manage. Put a couple more trains on that one, too. Okay. <coughs> Good. I think that will get uh, quite a bit more stuff going on there. Right. Yeah, so we've got, uh, yeah, we got quite a bit there. Uh, so now we've launched a whole bunch of trains out of here. Uh, yeah, okay. And they have, in fact, launched. Uh, what I think I should probably do is maybe add a little bit more signaling along this part. 
Uh, yeah, probably. We're going to run that this many trains on here. We're going to need denser signaling. Uh, it's fairly, fairly dense there already. Yeah, okay, so we're good there. Right. We have trains ticking in and out of here. Good. Okay, we're going to... You picked up 60-some. Yeah, you're going to pick up 60-some. Yeah. Uh, you are going where? You're going on there. You're going to pick up some, right? 60 some. And you are going to pick nothing up because there's nothing waiting for you, right? Because we need the big guy. Okay. Good. Well, those will eventually spread out, but we got two big guys coming in here. Yeah. Um. Right. So we're gonna get the odd train running empty, uh, by the look of it. Uh, and then here we're coming in. Uh, we deliver a whole bunch. Yeah. So once everything. Uh, uh, sets up better. Uh, we're not creating traffic jams on the line. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. We might need another train on that. Uh, okay, so if we go in here and we manage the vehicles... Yeah, we probably need one more on there. Good. Now we come in. This guy delivers. Yeah. And then these things fill up even more. Yeah, okay. So, so this whole operation is working. And it's working exactly as, uh, as I expected it to. Uh, this here hub station uh, just means we have fewer small trains running up to the food factory and uh, a few uh, more uh, big train, like a few big trains. Uh, it's a traffic control measure. Uh, and that, uh, that's really the, uh, the important bit, right? I think we might perhaps need even more trains on here we might um yeah we might uh you come on you there we go manage vehicle uh let's put a ninth train on there um yeah so we'll go over here at the launch point. Yeah, I think a ninth train is probably enough. Uh, okay. Well, we'll let that tick along for a while. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be basically the project for, for this time around as well. So we got this here finger operation going, uh, which is bringing food over to Dog River which is delivering food over to this side of the map. And I think our next uh, uh, logical thing to do is start delivering food elsewhere, like to Castle Rock. Possibly. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, definitely Castle Rock and uh, 
points uh, further this way. Uh, we've got another food operation here at Raccoon City as well. So uh, there will be a uh, connection. We'll probably end up doing another hub operation here, connecting a bunch of these farms up over here. Uh, and then we'll probably run a shuttle between the two hubs, uh, ultimately, uh, so that we can share food and... Uh, uh, grain back and forth and that one I'll probably run using naffies uh, but I'm not sure as, as we'll be bringing this food here probably up into this hub and uh, we'll be bringing uh, is there more farm yeah these farms up here probably down into here and these ones probably as well yeah uh, so anyway I don't know for sure what we're going to do, but that's uh, kind of where things are uh, uh, set up at the moment. So let's uh, let's just check in over here where we have just made a pickup. Uh, and there is uh, uh, yeah, so so we have an overload in the station, which means a whole bunch is. Uh, going away relatively quickly. Um, so we just definitely need the uh, the big trains here to, uh, to catch up. Now we've got another big train coming up here. Um, okay, if we manage those. I'm going to put a tenth one on there. Yeah. I'd rather those trains end up running at 75% than uh, leaving a whole bunch to uh, not get picked up at the platform. As now that we've uh, increased transport, we're probably uh, increasing demand here. So, yeah. There's another one coming up. Uh, yeah, so it, we, we definitely need to keep that... Uh, that amount there down. Uh, it's nice we've got sufficient queuing space for a train to wait while the train the other train departs. This is one of those cases where a uh, alternative platform could improve throughput uh, part of the time. So if we made it a roll on roll off station, then uh, one train could be leaving and another arriving simultaneously for the same line. Um, and that's uh, that's something that. Uh, uh, could be useful, uh, especially for high throughput situations. But for the most part, things work reasonably well as they are. So I kind of get why the game's coded that way. Okay, so this will be another couple hundred off the total there. Um, right. Oh, incidentally, this is why massive multi-cargo hub operations fail hard. Uh, it's just the storage capacity of the trains, stations, and so on. Like, this might be better uh, redone later uh, using something like a freight yard assets thing. You know, and I might actually do that. Especially if I can find a setup that allows me to get sufficient, uh, it allows me to have extra storage at the uh, station, right? Yeah, so we've uh, uh, we've made a dent in the uh, oversupply there. This train here should bring it down, um, but we've still got yeah. So we've got trains just ticking along here. Right. Wow, that much got dropped off all at once. Wow. Okay, so um, definitely, this is definitely going to work a lot better when we get the higher capacity, higher power trains later. Uh, when things are running along here at 100k instead of 50. 
Uh, but we got, meanwhile, we've got another long train coming up here. We could make these trains a little bit longer. We could make them probably uh, 35 cars. Uh, maybe. Uh, but I'm not going to mess with that too much here. But as you can see, we've just got trains coming and going and coming and going. So, uh, you know, it's quite uh, quite busy. So if we were to, to build a proper freight yard around that or something, it would look quite nice. Of course, I don't do the high detailing stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put a cut here. So that's going to be all for this, uh, this episode. Yeah. Uh, next time, uh, I think we'll be delivering more food to uh, other towns and uh, maybe starting to work on the uh, uh, what what is it over here raccoon city uh, food operation uh, or maybe get a shunter up here and uh, uh, you know move uh, stuff to and from the uh, uh, this this plant here and maybe that's a good good use for naffies as well uh, at, you know in a shunting operation anyway uh, so that's all for this time. Uh, so I guess stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. Uh, it looks like there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So yay. Uh, and of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the dislike even if you prefer. Apparently there's some benefits to hitting the bell and subscribing. Uh, your mileage may vary. And of course, uh, well, see you back next time.